everyone, this is Becca from Becca's Music Room. I'm a music teacher who talks about teacher tips, teacher life, teacherpreneurs, and all things that might hopefully make your life just a little bit easier. Today I'm here with all of my third through fifth grade lessons for the end of October through November. So if you are interested in some fall lessons, stick around. If you enjoy this video, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and let's get down to it. All right, so I normally do these videos all together, but they were just so stinking long that I decided to break up my videos into first and second grade lessons and then third through fifth grade lessons. So that's what we're trying this month. If you like it, let me know down below. If you don't like it, let me know that down below so I know to put them all in the same video. Um, I am going to focus on third through fifth grade lessons. These are all kind of fall-ish themed. We've talked before about how I have my students every day for a week and then a new set the next week. So I will say things like on Monday we did this, on Tuesday we did this, but you can translate that to week one, week two, week three, whatever's best for you. This is just how I have my kids. So third grade, we are working on learning the treble clef for the first time and also working on really reading rhythms with our kids to curriculum. So on monday they come in and we do this little movement activity that i do with the can can i got part of it from my mentor teacher student teaching and part of it i just kind of made up and so it's very easy it oops sorry someone got some monster rhythm cards um but we just go so it's different for each section on the a section we stomp four times so i'm just going to tap my legs so it would be like two three four one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on the B section, it goes, we take our hands, we go down, up, down, up, T, 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 down, up, down, up, T, 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 Um, And then on the C, it goes down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Um, and I literally just tell them, we're going to listen to a song, we're going to do a movement activity, watch me and do whatever I do, and it's going to be really fast, so make sure you keep up. And they're like, okay. <laughs> um, and we just go for it. And it's super fun, really silly. By the end, they're like panting, which is hilarious. Um, and we do that. So then we go on and we learn the crocodile song. Um, so this is a Canadian folk song and it is just super cute. Um, I teach them the chorus first. So it goes, my right valerity, whack valerity, chuck valerity day. And so we learn just that part and then I sing the rest and have them join on that. And we walk to the beat and then on that we play the rhythm. So it would, we walk, I'm just going to play on my legs. So it sounds like this. When I was shipwrecked and driven to the shore and all I had to go around the country to explore was my right valerity whack valerity chalk valerity day. I hope I got that right. I'm always super paranoid that I'm going to be like really out of tune when I do these videos but if I so forgive me I'll link it down below um, and then we look at the staff and I tell them all right this is a staff it shows how high or low things are it's kind of like a map there are lines and spaces on the staff and so we go through and I point at the notes on the board and I say all right so if it's on a line the line goes straight through the middle if it's in a space it is in between the lines and I point is this on a line or in a space on a line or in a space on a line or in a space perfect and then I tell them, I really want you to get this down because I have older kids who still can't do it. So I have um, carpets that have like dots and then squares around them. And I have them stand on the line. And I say, this is the line. And then they stand on the dot. And I say, this is the space. And so we play this game. The real game is called Riverbank. And basically you have two different sides and you say river. River is one side, bank is the other. And you switch it up so that they get confusing. So you say like riverbank, river. So they have to jump river, bank, river. Um, like that and so we're doing that for lines and spaces so i say line space line space 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 line line space 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 and if they end up in the wrong spot then they are out so it gets really confusing if you go really far and this i know sounds so silly that i'm like literally i just want you to know what is on a line what is on a space because i'm so sick of my fifth graders not getting it right so we are like getting it instilled now 
Um, and then after that, we do our kid sticks. I forgot to bring my kid sticks book home, but kid sticks is a curriculum with Artie Almeida where she um, figured out rhythms kids can play that go along with lots of different pieces, mostly classical songs, some like patriotic, some folk songs. And we are learning the can can, which is the first. Um, full thing we have done the really readiness and we've done some like folk songs along with it and the different elements are a coffee can drum drumsticks a tambourine i have new ones but i use my really crappy old ones for this because we're banging on them with the sticks and then um she has a beat board we just use the floor i have heard it does make a huge difference in the sound to get the beat board but i have not done that so we just use the floor um and we go through that we learn as much as we can usually it has been like the a and the b section is about as much as we can get the first day but it's really awesome because you project on the board all the notes and so the kids actually have to read them if we get to talk about form we talk about repeats we talk about measures and time signatures which is what we talked about last time so we're like bringing it back and it's just really helpful to get the kids reading the rhythms so really nice at the end of that we do popcorn as our exit ticket so what i do is i take something usually like a stuffed animal and i'll toss it to one kid have them tell me what they learned today they toss it to another kid have them say what they learned today they toss it to another until we are Thursday is a really stuff heavy day and i tried to fix it but i couldn't so we're just dealing with it um so it starts with we listen to the song im herbst by robert franz and i ask them i say just listen close your eyes and I want you to figure out some words that can describe it. I'm going to play it because it's not a super common one and I want you to hear what it sounds like. Um, can just play that quietly in the background. Um, so we listen to it. It's very dark. It's called Eam Herbs, which means in autumn. So I want them to visualize like creepy dark forest but i don't like leave them there i just say you know what words can you think of so after they listen i have them talk to a partner about what words they would use to describe and then they write on a sticky note their answers and go put it up on the board so that they're all together and then we take our scars and we move with the music so i tell them if it's fast go fast if it's slow go slow if it's high go high if it's low go low but basically just they're just listening and doing whatever they think the music is doing with their scarf um after that i'll turn this off after that we listen we learn this song um little birch lovely birch something like that something like that but we take our scarves and we show the contour with it so it would be like see the lovely birch in the meadow Silver leaves are sorry, this like got really wonky when I brought it home. That's why I just like, keep doing that. That's not cool. Um basically it just transposed this a whole like third up because <laughs> this is supposed to be a D. Um, but we're just gonna leave it for now. Anyway, because the contour is the same. It goes see the lovely perch in the meadow. Curly leaves all dancing when the wind blows. apparently i never fixed that oh okay um so i don't know why it's showing up funky on here it's something about the mac versus the pc in this font it just does not work out well for me um so we do that and we just show the contour and then i we talk again about the staff and the lines and space we look at them and say all right liner space liner space and then we learn the lines so we just take our hand and say e g b d f e g b d f those are the lines of the treble clef and i give them a little staff and they get those little apple erasers and i say all right put an eraser on e put an eraser on g put an eraser on b and i check off like yes this person's with me yes this person's with me so that we can get that figured out and then after that we learn the rest of the can can so yeah stuff heavy day i don't normally have that much stuff all together but it is what it is I couldn't figure out a way to like rearrange it that was gonna work on wednesday we learned the rest of the crocodile song as much as we can so we learned some of the words and then after that we do a really fun activity so i don't have a name for this yet but i'll think of something um basically i take four hula hoops and put them on the floor 
And in each hula hoop, I actually do eight because I do two sets because children. Um, and then I take, and then I take pieces of paper and I write F, A, C, and E in each one. And I put a note from music theory dot net and I have it set to only spaces and so it puts a note up on the board and they have to jump they have to put a foot in either FAC or E whichever one it is so and then when they change it they have to go to a different one and it's just a really fun active way and it's much more fun than like what note is this what note is this because that gets really really boring when that is done and they've gotten some other wiggles out we read this book it's called The Flute Player, and it is really awesome. Really awesome. It's by Robin Eversole and pictures by G. Brian Caras. It's also in Spanish, if that helps you. My kids don't speak Spanish, so that doesn't really help me. But it is really cute. It is about a flute player, and her flute gets clogged with all of the songs that she plays. And so she... Um, this little girl blows in it and out comes the owl from the forest songs and out come the fish from the sea songs and it's just super super cute and it really gets the point of like listening and visualizing what picture it puts in your head which is important because then we listen to Eve Herbs and we talk about all the words we used to describe it and then we write a story based on the song. So I actually have this little Eam Harps writing. This is available in my TPT shop already. Come on, come on. Is it not gonna work? This is available in my TPT shop already. And so it has a little box on the top where you write the words to describe Eam Harps. And then it says, write a story about being in a creepy dark forest at night use the words from the box to describe the setting and the story because that's what they were working on in class that week so we say we're in a creepy dark forest and really focusing on the setting and writing a narrative piece because that's again what they're doing in their class because again that's what we're doing <laughs> um if they finish like a whole story then i give them a piece of paper and let them draw they don't normally do that but yeah so that's wednesday on thursday if i happen to have them we'll do kid sticks i won't have them though so i'm not really worried about it on friday we pull out our scarves and move along with vivaldi's autumn and then we do a little stuff exit ticket and then we play instruments along with the um little birch lovely birch whatever that's called and then we play a game if we have earned our game for the week so there is third grade um i'm gonna go to fourth and fifth grade now my fourth and fifth graders i normally do them pretty similar but they are a little bit different this time so bear with me um they are working on major and minor just kind of identifying and understanding that and then dotted half notes and my fifth graders are working on accelerando and ritardano they have mostly the same lessons just slightly different focuses so on monday they come in and we listen to in the hall of the mountain king and we move to the steady beat with our feet just like the second graders do yep we do um and then we turn and talk about what words we would use to describe in the hall of the mountain king and again take a sticky note put it up on the board to share what words we would describe and usually they come up with things like dark or sad or things like that and i say yeah there, there's a lot of reasons that the song sounds like that and one of them is by the tonality it's in and the chords that it's using and i'm not going super into like major versus minor mostly i'm talking about major and minor chords so i say all right so there are major and minor chords and i go to the piano and i play like a d major chord and then i play like a d minor and i'm like all right so the major sounds like happy and bright and the minor sounds sad and i have them just sh and i'll play a couple chords and i have them show me a thumbs up for major thumbs down for minor and they usually figure it out pretty much immediately and then we get some boom whackers and we play major and minor chords so what i do is i have everyone has different ones and i'll say all right if you have d f and a we're going to play ours at the same time so we play and i'm like ah that's a minor chord and then i pick something that would make a major chord um, after that, we play along with In the Hall of the Mountain King, which is a play along video on YouTube, which is wonderful. And then we talk about reading the notes on the board. And so we look at the lovely, see the lovely birch in the meadow, and we try to play that along with our 
boom whackers i'm not gonna lie last week i only had my kids three days out of the five days i was supposed to so we didn't actually do that part so we will see how that goes next time and that's monday on tuesday they come in and we listen to the song this train is bound for glory the recording i have it starts pretty fast and goes super slow and then it's faster and faster and faster at the end so we take our rhythm sticks and we tap the steady beat and they really enjoy just banging along when it got really really fast at the end and then they play the and then we did some rhythm cards and then after that they played the beat while i sang swing low sweet chariot i'm gonna assume we all know that one and i'm not gonna sing it um and then i get the sticks back and we learn the song autumn leaves so this one goes autumn leaves are falling falling to the ground painting on the hillside yellow red and brown and this one's in minor i think i totally sang the whole thing wrong because i got the other song stuck in my head but this one's in minor and we talk about you know do you think this is a major or minor they're like minor and so i played on the keyboard i played the just d minor along with them and then we go over to the keyboards and now last time we used these little cards to help us play major chords i can't find them now great um we use these little cards to play major chords after there and so it shows you the notes to play for major chord and so we go to the keywords we play the major chord and then i have them move their middle finger over one <coughs> so that we are now playing a minor chord and they play d minor and i have them play that while we sing the song and we talk about what notes are which on the keyboard too which also helps and then if there's time we scooch our chord chart over to e so that we can play e minor and we play along with chain of fools by aretha franklin which is just kind of a fun thing to throw there throw in there at the end if there's time on wednesday we have two different things so a fifth grade is doing one activity and fourth grade is doing a different one um so fourth grade is learning about the solar system in class so they listen to the planets and they talk about what it sounds like and all that kind of stuff and then they do a couple of different activities so I, they do like centers so they do a matching game we're gonna do this pumpkin matching game for treble clef so they do you just match the note and the note on the staff so that's number one number two is we're working on the keyboard with major and minor chords and number three number three is that we do this little my own planets activity so there's two different sides i only expect them to get through side number one today and we're going to come back to it later so they're making up their own planet so it says planet name what is it made of how many moons does it have is it in our solar system how big is it and then any other details like temperature length of year length of day those kind of things if they finish that part then they flip it over and they write a story about discovering the new planet so this is our writing and our science links this time next time when they come we're going to write music for our planet so that's why we're starting with this and then next time they're going to write music that goes along with it it's gonna be like a whole big project that we're gonna do or we're gonna try to do let's see how it actually goes you never know how these things are gonna go in real life so that's what we're doing on wednesday fifth grade they are singing the autumn leaf song and we're gonna have and they're all gonna get instruments we didn't do this the other day because my fifth graders are on a different schedule um and one person's gonna be the conductor and they get to use their achalarandos and their retardandos so we learn all about that and the kids have to play the instruments and sing along with them and they get to go as crazy as they want which is super super fun and some of them just need it and then i split them in half so they're not doing a full center stay they're just doing half and half half of them are working on the keyboards with major and minor and the other half are doing this fall writing a poem or chant or rap or song um so on this side they write words that remind and things that remind them of fall in each of the leaves and then on the back it says um, they check off either this is a poem chant rap or song and they write their fall themed one on the little leaf so that gets our writing and it's slightly more musicy since they might pick a song or rap so that's what we're doing on wednesday on thursday again we won't actually 
see them. If I do happen to see them, we're doing a cup game with the Adam Stanley, in case you were curious. And then on Friday, we're reviewing the Little Birch and going over the notes, the EGBDF, EGBDF, those ones, the Trouble Club, those kind of things. And then they are doing a xylophone activity. So I actually, not xylophone, sorry. Then we're doing a glockenspiel activity. So we're using these because they look like the keyboards. So we get that like, okay, the sharps and flats are there, but we're not using them. Um, and so we play either, I tell them either D, F, or A, or all three, or whatever you would like. We play the beat while we sing. And then once that is done, I give them the printouts of the slides but I didn't even bother to like put them together but it's the printouts of the slides that shows all the notes and they have to figure out the notes and then play it on their glockenspiel so we do the first one together and it's um a a a a g f f e g and then they have to figure out the rest on their own or actually it's with a partner sorry so they have to figure out the rest with a partner and they play the melody when they get it and then we play it all together hopefully it's right fourth grade and some fifth grade classes. Um, so fifth grade is then doing the treble clef exit ticket and fourth grade is doing this little planet themed one. So I took out all the letters from A to G from the names of the planets, which mostly ended up being E's and A's, but you know, whatever, what are you going to do? And so they have to fill in the missing letters from the notes on the treble clef. So like this first one has an E on the treble clef, so they write E, a on the triple left A, and that spells Earth. And then they're going to put them in order on the other side to get a little bit more science in there and give them something to do if they finish really quickly. And then when they finish that, if they have earned their points for the week, then they get to play a game. And that's it for fourth and fifth grade, and we're to talk about third. All right, so that is everything that we are doing with third, fourth, and fifth grade this month. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm going to link everything I can down below some things I don't have available yet but I might soon so if you're interested let me know down below and I can let you know when it is available I hope this was helpful if so make sure you like subscribe and share it and have a wonderful week